Well, Nikki Hilton is stepping into the spotlight of the fashion world yet again as a shoe designer. This time, the celebrity is teaming up with New York fashion brand French Soul for a shoe collection just in time for fall. The line features a variety of shoe styles inspired by her love of footwear and family, with one shoe even named after her older sister Paris. And joining us now is the designer herself, Nikki Hilton. Nikki, thank you so much for being here. Hello. Some very interesting shoe designs. They're at a little bit higher price point than your sister's, but before we get into the shoes themselves, I don't know if you just saw a market sell-off continuing today. This is a luxury item. Does any part of you feel nervous about a shoe design coming out when we're talking about market jitters? Are there Ooh. any fears there? Um, Maybe. It's tough to tell. I mean, it's always <laughs> tough to tell what the consumer's going to do when we have market jitters. Not even us know. Um, Deepak knew. Deepak knew. Right. Deepak, <laughs> Deepak says, just Deepak chill. knew everyone's going to remain calm. But, yes. but this is like your first line of shoes, right? Yeah. So what inspired you to get this off the ground? You know what? I've been doing fashion design for nearly 20 years. Um, I started with handbags. I've done clothing jewelry, cosmetics, so I felt like shoes were the next stop. Mm -hmm. um, and I personally live in flats. I wear flats every single day, some variety. So this collection came so naturally designing it. Um, lots of ballet flats, and then we have the little smoking slippers. Those are nice, actually. I like the, what is that, suede velvet? I never know yeah, those what are materials beautiful. are what. Is that velvet? Yes. I don't know what, okay, good. Harlequin <laughs> velvet. People who See? said I wasn't a shoe guy are wrong. Uh, yeah, when we look do. at this, I was noticing a lot of these are made in Spain, Brazil. Yes. Is where a lot of this is made. Uh, when you were kind of weighing the designs and things like that, was there ever any idea of, of making them in the US? Was that ever even on the table? People talk about the shoes. I absolutely love to make most of my products in the U.S. Yeah. I'm, I'm all about supporting the USA. Got it. Very good. Erin, uh, what are your thoughts on these shoes? I mean, you focus on retail all the time. I focus on retail. I also sell shoes on QVC, so <laughs> oh. I feel like a little bit close to this. And yeah. I adore it because I love a ballet flat. I think mm -hmm. it's great, especially not only if you're a mother and running after kids, but you still want to look chic, mm -hmm. but also here in the city, if you don't want to wear your heels around, but you don't want exactly. to be like Melanie Griffith wearing like sneakers around. So <laughs> you have a very chic opportunity here. And I, I can feel the cushioning. Yeah. Very lovely. And then of course, like a cute a little QB. bow. This, this and like I, I don't want to switch into QVC you're mode, QVC but mode. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I saw it there. They're selling I'm gonna, quickly. I'm going to make quickly. love to the shoes <laughs> and feel them. The velvet feels excellent. Yeah. No, for real. Well, well, Nikki, give us a sense of what it's like to actually like launch like your shoe brand. Like, Are you focused mostly like online? Are you interested in getting into brick and mortar stores? Mm -hmm. Kind of what's the strategy moving forward? Well, French Soul, they have three boutiques in New York on the Upper East Side. So we're selling out of there. And then we have a big online business uh, with uh, FrenchSoulShoes.com, Zappos.com. So a little, a little of both. Yeah, you know what's funny both. is before we started this interview, we were kind of joking about it, but Paris Hilton, your sister, has her own shoe line as well. She does. Every time we talk about uh, sibling rivalries out there, it's interesting. But you actually, you've cared about shoes since high school because you guys went to a private since school I'm that was a baby. That you know, was kind of the only thing you could do to kind of wear something that yes. differentiated. Yes, so. I had a uniform. Yeah, I had a strict uniform. We weren't allowed to wear makeup. We weren't allowed to wear jewelry. We were certainly were not allowed to wear heels. So shoes were really our only way of expressing ourselves. Uh -huh. So we put a lot of thought into it. And that's when I discovered French Soul all the way back in high school. Really? So to be doing this collection with them now, it really was like very organic. And do you see possibly like doing runway shows with your shoe line or anything like that with Fashion Week around the world? Um, I don't know if I do runway shows with the shoes, but I recently during uh, right before Fashion Week hosted a little brunch mm -hmm. at my house where I had friends, family, and different editors come. We had, you know, La Dure cater it and coffee and croissants and just like an was intimate Paris there vibe. As well? No. <laughs> Paris was at Burning Man. Okay, cool. okay. So there you go. That'll do it. <laughs> yes. More important things to do. And you even named a shoe after her too though. So the sibling rivalry thing isn't that extreme. No. You still have some love for the sister in the shoe game too. Of course. Too. Okay. Absolutely. Very good. Then we're way to keep it all in the family. Nikki Hilton, thank you so much thank for you. bringing the shoes on set. Good luck with everything. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you taking the time. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. 
Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.